Hey guys, my name's Jason, and I want to talk to you guys today about the Devos Light Ranger. I've been using this for a few months now, and I found tons of applications for it. I've used this out while camping. I've used this while working on my truck. I've also used this at home for grilling. I want to talk to you guys about this because it's probably one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten for my setup. So it comes on this pole that can go up to nine feet and it will cast a 360 degree light. It can detach from the top so you can hang it in your tent. If you're using this while you cook or just around camp, then you can take it from where you're using it and you can bring it into your tent. One of the biggest reasons that I personally got this is because I can use it for filming. Like for example, in my winter camping video, my last one, I had to stop filming at like 5.30. If I had this light, I could have filmed a little bit longer. So originally I got it as a way of filming my camping videos, but I found very quickly that this was way more than what I thought it was. But I believe this will be pretty much useful for anybody around camp as it is a great scene light. So when these are fully lit up this puts out 1200 lumens to put that in perspective the average car's high beams put out about the same as this so um, it's very very bright typically i usually only run it on two of these because four really is more than i need and you will get different battery outputs uh, depending on which of these you press. So basically everything is controlled by this one button here. You can turn it on with this here and you'll have all of these corners lit up. This will give you the most uh, widely spread light. So now that we've waited, uh, press it again, it'll turn off. But if we press it in succession, one, two, you'll get two, one there. So if you let it sit for a few seconds after you do two like this, we wait. Then when we press it again, it'll just go off. So another really cool thing about this is that in any of the modes, you can hold down this button and it will start to dim the light. So you can get almost the perfect light for you. It will start coming back up. You can also do this in the single mode as well here. So if you just need like barely any light to read while you're in there, you can pretty much get it from full power down to this really low one here and everything in between. So also if you have this off and you want to see the battery indicator, you just hold it and you'll see that this is green here. So if it is solid green, it's going to be 100%. At green, it's going to be 67 to 95%. A yellow light is going to indicate 34 to 66%. And a red light is going to be 0 to 33%. So with just one of these lit, you're going to be able to get 16 hours out of it. Two of these lit, you will get eight hours. And then with all of these lit right here, you're going to get four hours out of it. So for the most part, like I said, I just used the two and that works perfectly fine for me. They also do have a solar panel that goes with it, but I have my own solar panels. So if I need to charge it while I'm on the road for a few days, then I'll just use that and be perfectly fine. So while we're speaking about charging, not only are you able to use this as a light, but with a 10,400 milliamp hour battery, you can also use USB down here and charge your phone off of it. This is really great, especially if you're in your tent and you're just using this to kind of, you know, read something at night. You can um, charge your phone in your tent and just have it hanging up inside your tent. So for me, I'm going to usually keep it on this pole here. Um, this goes as far up as nine feet and um, you can also get it down pretty low. So if you need something, you know, you're working on your car, you need to get something underneath. So the reason I went with this one specifically is because it does go up to nine feet. I've seen a lot of them that don't go that high. And for me, I really don't want anything at eye level that's going to be very bright because then if I'm looking at it, or if I'm trying to do something just past it, then I'm kind of blinding myself. So having it up high basically makes it so all the light comes down and you can see around camp just fine. So like I said, there's many applications that I have used this before. Let's say for the most part, I would use this at camp, you know, cooking, kind of just sitting around um, the fire. I also recently changed my power steering fluid in my vehicle because I wanted to save a little bit of money. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that having done it now. I, I thought it was a pretty awful experience, but I was really glad that I had this around because what I thought was gonna be an hour or two hour job ended up taking me about six hours. So this went well into the night while I was changing that out. Having this around and being able to see inside my vehicle 
get underneath things and see very well was uh, very beneficial to me. Possible that you can't tell right now because I have taken precautions with this, but it is very windy right now. So um, it is great to have this base here. So this base basically opens up and you can open it up like this and have a pretty wide stance here. So if you have something like this, in most conditions, you'll be fine with it unfolded. But if it's a particularly windy day, something like this that comes with it is gonna help a little bit better. This is a stake that will go into the ground and um, that will give you a lot more stability. Now I did actually have this fall one time when I was filming, but that was one of the windiest days I've ever filmed. And I was just doing B-roll for another video I have coming up, but this fell from nine feet all the way down and the only thing that happened was a small abrasion here. So basically this took a fall from nine feet onto concrete and uh, still was working fine. I've used it many times since then. That was actually very early on after getting this. So when I'm camping tonight, I will likely be using this stake and staking this into the ground for a lot of extra support. So another reason why this is great at camp is that you can either have it on the tripod, you can either hang this or it is perfectly balanced upside down like this with this little base. So let's say you need to see something like under your vehicle or something like that. You can set it underneath and look up and see what you need. So I actually did use this light one time at night to open my tent. It was my first time opening it. I waited a little too long and also I thought this would be a good time to film that but there was perfectly enough light to see. So I know that I have recommended headlamps to use around camp, and I still recommend using those if you need to just kind of see right in front of you. But even though this is the brightest one that I have, it still is nowhere near the same amount of brightness that you get out of this. And it's also only gonna be directly in front of you where this is going to be a complete open space of light. There are some competitors out there for this product. I've thought about them, I've researched them and looked at them. Some of these are, you know, big light panels that put out, you know, similar comparable light, but cost about three or four times the amount of this. So for most people, I think that you only really need one of these. And at this price point, it's not gonna completely break the bank. So for me, I'm gonna probably end up getting two of them. We can have two of these for the price of one of the competitors. So I realized right away that this was the one to go. As far as space goes, you know, this packs down pretty tight. So while I have seen people out there complaining about the size of it, um, I'm not really sure what could be done to make it any smaller. I've I found that this is actually adequately small. Um, maybe it could come apart in the middle or something like that. But for me, this doesn't really take up too much more space than my tripod. So for me, it's really a non-issue. So to charge this, you're gonna use this right here. I forget the name of this one, but it's like the hexagon. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I will drop some links below that you can check it out. If you wanna save a little bit of money, you'll probably be fine with just one. Although I may end up going with the second one myself. Thank you.